Hello, Peter Troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Brett of Venomyces and Tobias. Reviewing another beer from the US trip. This is another beer that I brought back. Uh, this one is one I got from Ivan, aka Ivan, who used to do All That Ails You, a blog on YouTube. Uh, so we met up in Jersey, had a great time. He gave me some beers, and this is one of them, and this is from Foam. It's going to be my first Foam beer, and your first Foam beer, and your some whatever. second, <laughs> but we tried some at MVCC. Yeah. So I never heard of them until I saw, I think, Joe review a couple beers, and I got this can as well. And It's not a brewery I really heard much about, but they're from Vermont. And they're famed for IPAs. Mostly, yeah. And this is their 8% double IPA called The Shining. And Joe reviewed it, and he said this was like crazy hot burn, like crazy big IPA, loads of hops. So it'll be interesting, because this one is like five weeks old right now. So it's 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 died down a bit. Uh, so Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully. But uh, this is 8%, as I said, double IPA. We couldn't find out anything about hops. No. Uh, but they said like pineapple and what was it? Um, pineapple, mango and smoothie. And smoothie. <laughs> Those are the tasting notes. I tried this at MBCC, but I don't remember it as being hot burn okay, at all. So but it might be another batch. Yeah, maybe it is another batch. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it, is. it is. Probably. But pour is a super bright color. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is bright yellow. Yeah. Like really screaming. Like it looks like lemon juice. I almost I can't generate juice. a head on mine. Oh. It's hard. It's it hard. is some. It looks like something like a headroom. I haven't tasted headroom, but from uh, what I've seen, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> it headroom look, might be a little look, bit darker. Looks like uh, lemonade. It yeah. is. Yeah. White head. Let's check out the aroma on this one. Oh, it is really like dank pineapple for me. Yeah, it's it's very it's much more bright than the one we just yeah. had. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like it's almost like stinging in your nostrils. Yeah. <laughs> The Shining. That's uh, there we go. It's, it's like also got some overripe and some candy starburst, like kind of candy uh, pineapple thing. It's like really bright, really tart hop yeah, character. Yeah, it's very tart. It's it's almost uh, yeah. It's, it's like just like it's one of those like pfft, it's just bursting out of the glass mm. with so much hops. It's but just it's like it's almost stinging the nostrils. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. I think these foam beers are just hopped like crazy. <laughs> yeah. It has a little bit of. Uh, a spearmint, yeah, minty. Thing I see like. that herbaceous. Yeah, more, uh, more, probably more herbaceous than mm. than minty. Yeah, it smells yeah. nice though. Let's try it. Cheers and Cheers. thanks a ton to Ivan for the beer. Not oh well, Ooh. going down there is definitely a good. Well, I don't think I don't think it's, it's not hot burn, burn, but it's just. It's really it's like it grabs your taste buds. Oh no, now, after a little bit, it's really like <laughs> on the taste buds. Like, yeah. It's not like too crazy, but it's like full on. Yeah, Yeah, it's full on, but it's not hot burn. No, not now at least. Very light mouthfeel actually. Like, yeah, and, it, and because it's, it's bright fruits, like lemon and all this, it doesn't have as much sweetness. It also seems lighter. Like all that yeah. sweetness, well, I don't it's think it's per se light, but it's no, lighter no. for the it's, style. Yeah, compared to what we just had. Yeah. I'm getting lots of dankness, lots of pineapple, lots of lemon, lots of lime. So, like, it's like super lemon peel or pithy. Mm. If you've ever had like desserts where you like candy lemon peel, it's just reminding me of that, like mm. biting into that with all that oil and everything. And mm. also a bit of like a green mango kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, 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 mm. like peppery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's definitely the contrast. From what we just had. like what yeah, we've had so far has been like super yeast forward, uh, like juicy estery, and this is just like yeah, super so hop saturated. Yeah, 180 degrees turn. Yeah. yeah, right here. Which is funny considering it's the same type of IPA pretty much. Yeah. If you mm. talk about the like, New England or juicy IPA or hazy IPA or whatever people are calling it, it says uh, something about the diversity of the style. I think. Mm -hmm. Well, do you? Th mm. uh, I think you like this more than the other one we just had. Eh, oh. Yeah, I like. It. Oh yeah, yeah. Then the nothing gold. I yeah. do like it more than that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking ninety four. I, I again, I'm not like as blown away as I've had with other IPAs, New England IPAs from like over in the states. Um, I think they. I still think it's really, really good. 
For me, but I think it's I'm just getting really. I think I'm getting really critical for this style. Yeah. yeah. Because everyone's doing it right now, yeah. and yeah. there's so much variety on the yeah. style. So because you're starting, in, like in the beginning, everything was just a hundreds because you didn't have a lot of it, mm -hmm. and now you, you had so much of it that yeah. you just get so much more critical, and you get so more in tune with what you prefer in the style. Mm -hmm. So you search for those specific things, and then you just get more picky. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just happening to, to me. It's, uh, 94 is a great grade. It's a fucking awesome IPA. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but. Um, I prefer a little bit more sweetness from like some yeast esters, <laughs> maybe a little bit more of a sweet tropical vibe. But again, you can be picky. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think ninety four. I think I like uh, the the other one they do pavement a bit more than this one. From what I remember, I remember that one remember. as being a bit more balanced between the ag aggressive hopping and a bit of like a sweet uh, yeasty profile. But yeah, 94. Yeah, 94. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the same because, yeah, we had the other one which was very sweet. And this one, which is just the opposite. And if you could hit something in between, uh, it'd go higher for me because yeah. this one is a bit uh, a bit too dry yeah. for my taste. Yeah. Again, <laughs> with all the stuff going on, man, you, you end up being picky yeah, because yeah, everyone does it. So, yeah, it was a very nice beer worth worth seeking out for sure uh, if you guys had a chance to check out The Shining by Foam let us know what you thought of it thanks a ton to Ivan for sharing this one you're awesome dude it was great hanging out and uh, yeah guys if you had it let us know what you thought and as always remember to comment subscribe check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we're gonna say cheers cheers and see you guys in another beer review